I mean, we'll see about that. And then, of course, I got this article about genetically modified mosquitoes. Oh. So they've been talking about this for a while, but now they've they've got the go-ahead. Oh, jeez. So now they're going to do it, and I guess they're they're releasing a bunch of uh, millions and millions oh, of no. genetically modified okay. mosquitoes in Florida. Okay. That scares me. Yeah, what the... Should we lead with that? Let's, what, you want to just talk about yeah, it? what the heck? Let's talk about the mosquito thing. So check us out. This is, this is crazy. Millions of genetically modified mosquitoes to be released in Florida. This is nuts. So it's a UK-based company. It plans to uh, proposably, uh, purposefully, excuse me, release hundreds of millions of genetically modified mosquitoes into Florida. And it, it may sound like a scientific story. Let's see. Whatever, whatever. Let's see what, the, what why they're doing. That's what I want to know. What is the point of it here? It says, insect combating tech company Oxitech has created a male mosquito modified so that all of its offspring die before hatching. Ah, okay. The U.S.-owned company has named it Ox5034 and designed it as an alternative to spray insecticides. Now, I'm, un- I- I'm under the impression that only the females bite you, right? That's what I've heard. Yeah, I, I, think, that's, I think that's true, that it's only uh, female mosquitoes. So if, if that's the case, I'm a lot less scared of this uh, right off the bat. You know, I've had fantasies about killing all the mosquitoes on Earth at once. Like if really? I could, if I was Thanos and I really? had power as a kid, I'd be like, what if? And I wonder <laughs> about what kind of ecosystem disaster would that, you know, catalyze? That's a good point. But man, they are annoying. Yeah, you got to think about every single different part of, of the world that we live in, right? All the the biology, the world of each individual ecosystem needs all these different puzzle pieces to work. If you take mosquitoes out, what is that affecting? And they could be spreading genetic information in, a, in an That's evolution. That's a good point. Interesting. So yeah, maybe they, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe there's certain animals that need mosquitoes to spread their something. I don't know. I, maybe even down at like a bacteria level or, you know, some sort of, uh, I don't know, something, something crazy, yeah. you know, like, but what, what would happen? That's a good point. What happened if someone thanos mosquitoes just gone? And they were out of here. You know, what What would we do? I don't, you know. If it was a video game, I would save the game and yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah, save it. Just see. Do it. See what happens. Then, oh, wait a minute. Uh, the world's the world's lighting up. Maybe we should go back yeah. and uh, put the mosquitoes back. I don't know. Well, let's, let's, let's read a little bit more. It says, a plan to release more than 750 million of these genetically modified male mosquitoes in the Florida Keys received Environmental Protection Agency's approval in May. Oh, all the way back in May, I guess. Okay. And got unanimous go-ahead from seven Florida agencies in June. Although I do know for a fact, because we actually talked about this on TimCast IRL, that the the people were pissed. Like the, the you know, regular civilians that are not part of the decision-making were like, what is this? Like, we don't want this at all. So, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, It's crazy. So let's see. It says uh, the project has been seeking approval for more than a decade, CNN re- reported. Wow, a decade. Uh, the modified mosquitoes will be released into Florida over a two-year period starting this summer. Beginning next summer, they will also be released in Harris County, Texas, uh, Oxitex said in a May statement following the EPA's approval. So also they're going to rock Texas with this too. Man, I, I hope it doesn't. I mean, you, you brought up a good point. Like what happens if this totally throws off the whole ecosystem? And, like, plants start dying. Right. You know what I mean? You know, I just thought about mules. I guess probably at some point mules didn't exist. And that's like a horse and a donkey. Okay. Right together, and they're sterile. And Are they? Yeah. They don't really? seem... It hasn't seemed to destroy any kind of ecosystem. Huh. How do... Where do like, what? how does that even make sense? How do, how do mules... How, how do you make more mules? You just keep crossing them with exactly. a, a horse yeah. and a donkey? Yeah. Interesting. That's wild. Yeah, that is kind of wild. All right. Interesting. So... I don't know. This mosquito thing, it just it feels like humans are kind of running rampant with this playing God thing. Yeah. When, That's really what it feels like. When they, I think it was 2013 is when they, the Supreme Court said it was legal for companies to patent uh, living organisms for the first time. Mm. And it, that really freaked me out. What year was that? I think it was 2013. Oh, okay. Not too long ago. Yeah, but like, and this whole cloning sheep thing, that that was a big deal when that first started happening. No one talks about it anymore. I know. And I'm pretty sure they're still doing it. It's amazing it. how fast we normalize. Yeah, that's true. Normalized cloning stuff. 
Everybody remember Jurassic Park? Remember that? There's actually talks of scientists uh, making a dinosaur oh, just like Jurassic what? Park. Oh, have you heard about this? Fantastic. Yet? Uh, no. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, I don't. I don't have the article pulled up, what? but I was reading this article about uh, two weeks ago, and essentially that's what they're doing. They're they're saying we actually found DNA. We know how to clone sheep. We could clone the dinosaur off the DNA. Should we do it? It's of like, course. No. What? What? You think they should? No, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> what dinosaur? I don't know. Oh, I didn't, man. I don't think they even know, but it's wow. like, what What are they doing? Like, why? I, they're playing They're playing God. You know, Humans I, are, have become God. That's what, that's what they're saying. I thought that if we have wiped out a lot of species of animals, I don't know if we have, but the ecosystem since the industrialization seems to have killed off, you know, yeah. sparked somewhat of a, of a mass, you know, die off of animals. Maybe it's good that we can bring them back genetically. As we're killing off maybe a whole yeah. subspecies of mosquitoes. Not saying that I don't want these mosquitoes gone, because I mean, who likes mosquitoes? Oh yes, come suck my blood. No, if you if anything that sucks my blood, I don't like it. I Ticks have, and mosquitoes, get out of here. I was in South America. My friend has an ayahuasca retreat down there, and she lives in the jungle. Okay, and I was saying I the mosquitoes. You just let I let them bite me and eat, and eat me. And I was like. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. I, I haven't <laughs> got there yet. Uh, can I just take a second? Of course he's got a friend in South oh, America cool. with an Nancy. ayahuasca retreat. Huh? Shout out. Wait, wait, go ahead. Uh, Nancy. Nancy. Uh, oh, gosh. I don't remember the name of the retreat. Uh, but you ruined the shout out. It's in Peru. <laughs> but that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, man, some people are like that. You know, They're, they wouldn't even kill a mosquito because it's killing an animal, it, basically. I, I, I used to have mosquitoes. Sometimes I get them in L.A. I'd be in my apartment and they would just fly around and not bother me. But as soon as I would kill one, the other ones would come at me. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I never noticed that because yeah. I kill any one of them that that comes near me like, ah, gotcha. Ah, yeah. gotcha. You're dead. You're dead. So, don't uh, tread on me, boy. Yeah, don't tread on me. All right, so these mosquitoes, I mean, I don't. We're, we're playing with something that we don't understand. And, and you mentioned something just a second ago. There's a, a massive amount of extinction going on. Like, species are going extinct all over the world. You know, is it climate change? Is it overforestation? Is it, you know, oh, man, I, I could keep going, you know, like scroll. You know, I don't remember what's it called when they... Uh, Tro- trove the the ground in the ocean when they just kind of rake it up mm. um, a trawl trawl yeah trawling yeah that's that's what i think thank you thank you and i mean who knows what else are they doing that we're not well, we don't even know about oil spills yeah, sh- yeah all the flooding, stuff flooding Flo- can do it that's a big one. well man and then you know about the flooding that's going on in china right now it's like it's insane this is, this is regarding the three gorges dam it is that's yeah a big deal it is a big deal